Or hello, Dylan here, and happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and today's of which is on the Sith Infiltrator and Imperial Landing Craft from 2007. So, for the Sith Infiltrator, let's see, set number 7663, the border of 2007, of course, and it in action above Coruscant, and, you know, and on the back is have for most of the 2007 wave the Lego club and the online survey a couple of features of it and all the pieces that come with the set and the last step Imperial landing craft also there but above top to lean on the back alternate shot of the set After a shop at home in Lego Club, and the, all the pieces that come with the set, and add for most of the other sets of 2007, and again, but with the first battle packs, of course, and the features of the set, then the last steps. First of which, for the Sith Infiltrator, of which get, of course, Darth Maul. And this version of which, I think might be exclusive to this, but also used in plenty of other sets as well. With the, some good front torso print and no leg prints, and as for the face print, which which is all new, updated from this one, which carried on with other sets, and then oh, oops. then no back torso print or face print since it's an older figure, obviously. And you wonder where does the double blade lightsaber play? Well, you can put it added to the Sinclair trainer, of course. And for Imperial Landing Craft, is first is the Imperial Pilot or TIE Fighter Pilot as the helmet piece, which was common for most sets and also uh, kind of weak with the molding to, to it, at least until they changed it in later years. And the front torso print looks good and no uh, leg prints, of course. And also plain black. Head, not the annoying clone, clone face and no back torso print, and that's it. Yeah. And next to which is the original trilogy stormtrooper, and I see the uh, helmet print to which uh, it's kind of similar to the later 2014 versions, but at least until at least those were a good bit better, and also good torso print and no leg prints to which. But also a plain black head, which I truly wish they would do nowadays to like differentiate them from clone troopers, since even though they use the annoying angry clone face, and also some good back torso print, of course, which they could use this nowadays to tell them, since of course they're not the same thing, obviously. And next is the other kind of stormtrooper or sand trooper. Just the same, but with this orange pauldron. Same thing. Now, on to the sets. Starting with the Sith Infiltrator. See, in which a kind of alright rendition of the ship. See, it's just using a ton of the, like, jagged end kind of curved edge slopes. And you wonder what the bar, lightsaber bars are for. It is for Darth Maul's lightsaber, of course. And also this one you can lift up. And then, just like in the original 1999 version, is with the probe droids that are just a simple minifig head with a lever on it. But also you get the 
chrome lightsaber helmet. Also for Darth Maul's lightsaber and the binoculars for kind of piece for him to scout around on Tatooine with. And also with the top part of it, one of those like shield dome pieces with some nice prints to it. Also kind of like the later versions. And then from the back is one of the one of those kind of uh, windshield pieces, but it's a solid cover and has like some nice prints for the engine part of it. And inside has a little uh, jagged slope with a control panel printed onto it. But also, what you get with it is this little speeder bike made of very few pieces and. Also, does not have any studs to like sit your dark mall or attach dark mall to it. Even though you could add change it up with that if you want. And of course, just simple ways of all of what it is is adding dark mall onto it. But sometimes the back part uh, breaks off from it. and also has a clear dish to it, although I think they could have added tan to it, representing the sounds of Tatooine. And you can just, and it's kind of there for slipping it in, like, oh whoops. Just like so. And also, you do also get these, like, like big large canopy pieces but in solid gray that you can fold out and it's all in the flight mode of course and also get some landing gear that can also fold up like so and also like some of these earlier sets have the flip missiles which are just technic rods do that until they changed that up the following year in 2008. And the little thing that's different from the other incarnations is that you can detach. Oh, whoops. You can detach this upper part. And, and I have no idea why that is. If anyone knows why it detaches like that, tell them in the comments even though it's not present with the other versions. And so now on to a little comparison is with the most recent 2015 version of the Sith Infiltrator. Like as you can tell, does have some of the similar features, like of course the pro droids, but also the speeder. Which of course this version also did, but also the features were similar to the 1999 version. And the top parts of it also kind of similar. It's a little different, of course. Although, from the back of it, it's one large piece with prints rather than just a bunch of separate greebling details to it. And it has separate parts of opening up. And it also uses the spring lid launchers rather than the flip ones. Hard to say, uh, not much, but yeah. and next to which is the Imperial Landing Craft. See, this is uh, quite a good, oh, whoops. quite good version of it, and actually, it does have. 
also did have some all right better features than that of the 2018 version, but more on that later. But and of course, it has this like cockpit area that is just like the 2001 and 5 versions of the Imperial shuttle, which you can open up like so and does have the sticker, or I mean, a plate control panel, but it's printed, not a sticker. And enough space to fit your TIE pilot into it, of course. Also, at least good that it just kind of pivot down like the other versions. It has this top part of it, also kind of like the Imperial landing crafts. Or, no, no, shuttles, Imperial shuttles, actually. With the big long slopes, which he also did with the. But also, unlike with those versions, where the back wings of which, which have a simple gear function, that you can turn and it lowers the wings down, or which is quite cool. Well, unlike the other versions, where you just pull it down, you can see a bit of the gear with all these Technic gears. But on the bottom, this has a worm gear that does that. That controls them. But also, if you notice the like yellow cone areas, where if you press on them and it shoots the spring loaded launchers out. But these of which are red for some reason compared to the light gray. Not sure why that is. And also good use of the like these uh, big large slope pieces, which I don't think we see very much. But also, uh, what those red things are for is if you push down on like that, then those things just come right up or fall down, oh, which is quite nice. And of course, also like the other version is, you can like lift them up. And as you see, there's enough seating space for all the troopers. And wonder what the red bits are for is we can hold them and lift it all up. And there's a good inside look of it. See a few spaces to fit the guns onto, and also a couple of seats to sit troopers in as well. And if you see how that mechanism goes, like, oh, which one quite a good feature that I've seen in a while. And, uh, and of course, can like put this down and click them on, and they're all set and ready. So, on to a little comparison is with this later 2018 version of it. As, as you can see, it has multiple pieces for the landing gear rather than the big, large, slow pieces. And of course, the fins kind of are top black is like put in rather than just resting on a few studs. And also the like panels which do have some stickers to it which this one also didn't although it could have also used some tiles to it. But as for the main curve effect also done quite goodly but also does raise up but can't rest troopers into it, which this one does. But all of this does also have a landing ramp or boarding ramp to it. Which does have uh, clear plates compared to clear dishes. 
but although I do like this design about as much as well, but also this one, which also good too. And I think that is it. Oh wait, hang on. And so now, on to like, the final verdict. Oh, whoops, hang on. Overall, these, I think, are pretty cool sets of 2007. Like, you know, one of the only times of ever having the Imperial Landing Craft until 2018. And of course, although the Sith Infiltrator, one of the good versions of it, although, at least until with the 2011 versions and all. But also, whereas, all as for Imperial Landing Craft, has kind of a bit more unique functions to it rather than the 2018 version. Well, if they did remake it again, I expect it to have that as well. And, but also, wish there could have been some more minifigs included with the Sith Infiltrator, like, uh, like Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi, of course, as suiting to the Phantom Menace, obviously. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And and if you haven't and still have access to these, then I'd say go ahead and get them, like eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe.